20 laps will be the distance. The lineup looks like this. Starting on your front row in the pole position, the number 24 out of El Paso, Illinois. It's going to be Ryan Onziker into his 21 of Billy Moyer out of Batesville, Arkansas. Row two on the inside, runner up in just a couple of years ago out of Parkersburg, West Virginia. In the 28, it'll be Tyler Carpenter. And on his outside out of Manhattan, Illinois, in the 89, it's Opie Mike Spatola. Row number three is going to be Festus, Missouri driver, Rusty Griffall, car number 16. Into his outside out of Highland, Illinois, Chad Zobers trying to get into that locked in for the fourth straight year. Fourth row back on the inside out of Dubuque, Iowa. In the 58, it's Jeremiah Hurst, and he'll be flanked by the Lawrenceburg, Indiana driver of the 83, the Silver Shark, Scott James. Row number five is going to be Oakwood, Illinois. Illinois, Bobby Pearson, car number 32, into his outside the 96 of Tanner English out of Benton, Kentucky. Freeport, Illinois, Mike Fryer rolls off 11, the 44W, and on his outside out of Quincy, Illinois, the 155 of Vance Wilson. Row 7 out of New Berlin, Illinois, it's going to be the Rocket Chef, Brandon Shepard in the 15S, into his outside, Miles Moose out of Lincoln, Illinois, in car 84. The Pink Panther, Bob Gardner, hails out of Washington, Illinois, he rolls off 15th in the late Model A main, outside of him out of Weston, Ohio, in the 44, it'll be Matt Shipley. Moving back to row number nine out of Chapel Hill, Tennessee, in car number 18, as it'll be David Sievers into his outside in car 29. It's Jason Welshan from Maryville, Tennessee. And your 19th and 20th starters are your B main transfers. Rolling off 19th, the Louisiana driver of the 6R, that is Robbie Stewart. And on his outside, he came from the C to the B, and now into the A, out of Bloomington, Illinois, the high side hustler, Jason Fager. Getting set to go green in this one as we're going to have 20 cars, 20 laps, $5,000 on the line. Top three lock into tomorrow night's redraw and event. Then, yes, sir. Some of you may have seen Tyler Carpenter, T Car Tyler Carpenter pull to a stop in turn number two and wonder why he gets the spot back. Just stop for a receiver. Stop for a safety reason to get your spot back. Excellent. Thank you very much for that update, Blake. We'll keep an eye on that 28 car. Dustin, the lights are out. We're getting set to go out of turn at number four. First of two late model preliminary features. 20 laps the distance, top three transfer to the main event. Ryan Unziker on the pole, Billy Moyer on the outside, and we're underway. Jason Fager, the 44 of Shipley, and I believe Robbie Stewart was involved as well in the 6 that, That's a tough break for Tyler Carpenter because Carpenter had just taken the second spot away from Billy Moyers. We'll take a look at the FK Rod End's instant replay and see what happened to put us under caution. As, whoa, a couple cars get together. Pierce got sideways, Vince Wilson got sideways, and the end result was Jason Fager and Matt Shipley crossed up over in turn number two. All right, so it's an action-packed first two laps of this one. 18 to go. Ryan Unziker leads the way. And it looks like unofficially that last completed lap, Tyler Carpenter second, Moyer in third. We'll see officially how they run. And Miles Moose, he's got a damage on that race car. All right, so we'll get them sorted out. Cars pulling away up in two. Matt Shipley, final weekend, likely ever in a dirt late model. He's going to focus on his son's career move. Mike Spatola fourth, and Chad Zobrist right there again, just like he is every year, Ben, right there in the fifth spot. Again, if he finishes it into the drivers that finish in the top three, they are guaranteed a starting spot in Saturday's race. Lights are down on the speedway. Unzaker will pull up the throttle back underway as he mashes the loud pedal. It's up to the one and two. Moyer goes up for Tyler Carpenter for the second spot. Carpenter goes up for Unzaker for the lead. Little bounce around. Oh. Beacon banging back in the pack. But we stay clean and green. We do stay green. Nearly three wide up front for the race lead. Unzaker trying to hang on. Carpenter second. Moyer third. And a gaggle of cars back there behind him. Fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh on back. They're all side by side. As it's Mike Spatola for Chad Zobers fifth. Peter English now up into the sixth spot. But Ryan Unzaker is not a good smooth line around this racetrack, Ben, and he's starting to actually pull away a little bit from Tyler Carpenter. He has been lap traffic at me, right? The tough thing to handle here tonight. He's catching the back of the pack in a hurry. They're three wide back in the field as we have five laps complete. It's on to the Carpenter. Spatola now as Moyer goes back to four. Yeah, Mike Spatola's taking that first spot away. Chad Zobrist right there as well, trying to close in on Billy Moyer. And just as we say that Ryan 
was pulling away. Tyler Parker is closing back in on Ryan Unziger. Unziger did have a lead of about four car lengths. That is close considerably. Tyler Parker is walking on the back doors. They close in on the back of the field. Lap traffic now. Reality is plastic. gets pushed up into the cushion. And here comes Tyler Carpenter as Matt Shipley, the first car that Unziger's got a lap. He'll work around the lane stop in two turns three and four. We'll complete lap three. Baby. Tyler Parker had it up on two wheels right there in the corner as he tries to work by the 44 of Matt Shipley. This is as picking up as Mike Spatola is closing in on the leaders as well. Opie going to move the Indy I car down to the bottom of the racetrack and take the second spot away. Spatola works the low side in three and four, the top side in one and two. Carpenter back to his inside and what a battle for the lead. Here comes Opie going after Unziker. Mike Spatola down to the inside and it looks like a Saturday night at Falls. They're wheel to wheel for the race lead. Mike Spatola in the 89, Ryan Unziker in the 24, and Tyler Tyler Cooker going to toss his hat back in the ring. Tanner English is moving up to a fourth spot. He's right there as well. With a lap 11 on turn four, it is chaos as James Essence would say, please stay green right now. But well, Unzipper, you're the leader. Spatola in second, but here comes the 28 from Carpenter to his inside, and now Tanner English has indeed caught that bottle. That battle, second, third, and fourth, all right there together. Yeah, Ryan Unzipper's finally been able to pull away just a little bit, but it's like Spatola second, Tyler Carpenter third, Tanner English fourth. Those drivers uh, are all now trying to close back in here. Leader Ryan Unziger, and it's real funny because your fast cars are up on the outside of the racetrack, the slower cars that you get down to the inside of the racetrack with seven to go. Spatola is catching Unziger once again, and they may have clear track if they can clear Bob Gardner. We come back around, there's going to be 14 on the board, six to go, six more times around now for Ryan Unziger. Six times remaining, Taylor English now down to the inside of Tyler Parker. That's a battle for that third and final transfer spot, though. English will be in track behind the last car of Mike Fryer, and that's going to allow Tyler Parker to pull ahead of now Parker, trying to take second back away from Mike Spatola and Bob to go. There's five laps remain, and now Spatola back in inside of Carpenter. Here there's a war out there now, your top three. And now Spatola closes back in on Unziker. Bob Gardner right in front of your top three as Carpenter goes back to second. Battle for the lead, Tyler Carpenter for the slider on Ryan Unziker. Momentarily takes the top spot. He'll go to the high side of the race, track three and four. Unziker's going to get him back away, hop through three and four. What a race. Three laps to go, and oh! Contact between Unziker and Carpenter. Carpenter to the lead. Unziker back to second. Spatola third. Here comes Tanner English. Are you kidding me? Four goals battling for three transfer spots and a lap call in front of them. Two laps remaining. Tyler Carpenter trying to hang on and get the win. That might be the move that sealed the lead for Carpenter as he clears Bob Gardner. Can Unziker get there? Spatola in third. And in the fourth spot, it is the 96 of English. The 83 is right there as well. Oh! And Carpenter, your leader, bounces off the wall, Dustin. He hit with the wall. All in one and two. He's got to hang on for another set of corners. Unziker down to the inside. Checkered flag is out. Tyler Carpenter wins it. Ryan Unziker second. Mike Spatola third. Are you kidding me? What a race. Coming home in the third position, he walks into Saturday night's feature. How about it for Manhattan, Illinois? Mike Spatola in car number 89. Coming home in the second spot out of El Paso, Illinois, car number 24 up for Ryan Unziker. And don't let him hear you. You're a winner out of Parkersburg, West Virginia, Tyler Carpenter. The Boxy Productions, The Jones Show, Hoosier Tire by Todd Fry, Octane Race Products, Kryptonite Race Car with an Eisner Racing Engine. He just picked up his 19th win of the year. And you know what? He's heading down to Sunoco Race Fuel's Victory Lane with Blake Anderson. Are you ready for a Victory wow. Lane interview? Because wow. I'll tell you what, uh, we, we saw it earlier. But <laughs> look at that, the foam <laughs> fingers are clapping. Oh. We, uh, Good times. There, is, uh, there may not be anyone that gives a better Victory Lane interview than Tyler Carpenter, I'll tell you that. Wow. That one that was, was interesting. Good. You know, that that was good. we always wanted to stay green. By golly, it stayed green. <laughs> that was good. How about this one? That uh, that Kirk that Kirk Eisner racing engine just got uh, just got cranked up a few more RPMs. He was, he was testing the valve springs, making sure they were good to go for tomorrow night. Wow. Well, Blake Anderson, you saw what the Heat Race interview was like. You have got a feature win interview that's going to be way amped up coming your way. Uh, I can imagine. Well, maybe we're going to back it in. Bring her on back. Mom back. That's how we do it at the Trunk Mart, Knoxville. Mom back. 
This is going to be fun, guys. Steering wheel is off. Car is off. <laughs> The helmet's off, he can hear you. Oh. <laughs> A very excited Tyler Carpenter. I'm not sure if you could read his lips there, but uh, he's climbing out of the car. Make some noise for Tyler Carpenter. What's he going to do if he wins tomorrow? Tyler Carpenter, how about that? Hot damn, what can you say, man? Woo! That race, you and Ryan Unsicker just put on an absolute battle. A lap car sitting right there, and you guys just kept using it as a pick and putting on a show. Was that as exciting for you and the cars as it was for us to watch? Man, I, exciting is an understatement, man. Look at this fucking crowd. Woo! I had no idea, man. I'd ever come here in a place like this or an event with all you people for somebody like me being victory lane. I did it. Uh, I didn't think I could win it. Like I said, man, I was running that damn thing. Like I didn't, like I wasn't going to live tomorrow. Because I know if I didn't go for it, somebody else was going to. There ain't no skill, man. You got to be flat retarded. And I did it. Let, let me ask for every race fan in here right now. Does Tyler Carpenter have t-shirts for sale? If I have any left, man. I, I know that, man. I, I can't believe it. I made it here. And the biggest underdog. You all may not know it. Me and my family beat our brains out. Just try to lay a little statement. We don't try to say we're Rocket. We don't try to say we're Longhorn. We just want to be acknowledged that we are becoming somebody that has never been anybody. And look, whether you won't believe it or not, you're looking at me in the eyes, baby. We made it. Kryptonite is here. And Tyler, in your heat race win interview, you mentioned your niece. Does that make the fire burn a little hotter for you? Yes, man. It's one of the saddest things a human being can look at. Her name's Man, and, and we got this fundraiser going on for the Man of Miracle, man. And it's sad. You got such a little month or two month old baby, and then you got a shot at life because of a, a decline of insurance. Her dad had killer insurance, but for some ungodly reason, this high dollar insurance everybody's gotta pay for ain't worth a shit. Now what, lady, look at this camera. She's a poor little innocent baby. I'll be the first to tell you, I don't ask for money. It either comes or it don't. I'll work my knuckles, my skin to the bone, it don't matter. But there's no way I can come up with $2.2 .2 million for this little girl. And that's what we're thriving for. We're trying to make a statement and, if anything, get publicity for this little baby. Because even though it ain't my own kid, I see every kid as my kid. I got four girls of my own and a boy in a way. So you know I love kids. But uh, take a look at the car, man. This is who got me here. Box Seat Produ uh, Productions, Hoosier Tire by Todd Fry, Eisner Race Engines, baby, and Underdog Engine Builder is in Victory Lane. Let's look back here. Swift Springs put me in victory lane. ML Performance, Matt, uh, Matt does a hell of a job on my shocks. Where's the uh, machine? Them guys got the best product on the market, and it proves, because look at the beating I just put it through. Um, Chuck Long Break for keeping me where I belong, man. I, like, the biggest win of my career come this year is $20,000, and I didn't have a motor. I didn't even have a way to get there, but old Chuck put me in victory lane. Um, the, uh, the Jones Show, it's a Twitch champ channel for all you gamers. They, they help me out a lot. Um, Bill Steen Race Shocks. I want to go look at the other side. I ain't forgetting no. He's not forgetting any one of it. Guys, I think we, uh, I may have a new favorite interview here, Dustin. You're damn right in the interview, baby, because I shouldn't be here, and I'm here. Octane Race Products, that's another one I forgot. But that check's mine, I'm taking it home. I'm legal as it gets, I never cheat, I can promise you that. Uh, I got me a souvenir to take home to state that I have won at the Gateway. I got the best family anybody could ask for. Uh, hell of a crew, 
I ain't got a dedicated crew. It's whoever can get time off work or come over and give me a hand. We're a fly-by-night show, man. We just do what we can to make it happen. But all you fans, you're a sponsor to us, guys, because without you filling them seats, we'd be racing for ghosts. There ain't nobody here without you all. I want to thank each and every one of you. We have any Tyler Carpenter fans out there? <laughs> Blake, was that just your most memorable interview? It's got to be a top five right oh, off the bat. That, that's <laughs> I told you, buddy. Up on the podium with the Brad Sweet interview at the King's Royal this year when he won 175. There's, hey, and there's a look at his dad, Freddie Carpenter, as well. And I know that Freddie's night didn't go as, as well as it wanted, but I know that he's happy to see Tyler in victory lane also. That's a proud dad right there, and rightfully so. They worked hard. Good for them. And, you know, he picked up the biggest win of his career earlier this year, $20,059, the Butterball yeah, Warriors Memorial. Freddie's taking selfies yeah, he's with a, the fans. He's a rock star, man. Right. He's a rock star. Picked up the biggest win of his career, did Tyler, $20,059. Yep. And I said, I'll leave him on a lava on Wednesday night. Don't be surprised if he does it again and gets 30000 this weekend. So we'll see how it goes. But we've got another late model feature waiting in the wings. Do want to mention that for the Arizona Sports Shirt Facebook promotion, your winners are Tanya Murray Hall and Marie Kite. Anya Murray Hall and Marie Kite. You can go to section 130 and see KC to claim your prizes. Well, Dustin, again, that was uh, that was a handful. They're out there working the track, but those drivers did a well of a job. The lap cars did a great job, and man, it got down to the end. And Tyler Carpenter gets the win. Ryan Unzucker locked in, as is Mike Spatola. And 